Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Mary's Makes and Men's. Today I'm taking you along as I reupholster this old rocking chair. I got it for under $10 at my local thrift shop, and I think it's a really cool chair. I love how it folds up too if I want it out of the way. It's definitely seen some better days though, so I wanted to revamp it and give it some new life. I started by taking the backboard and the seat off of the chair. This was really easy to do since there were just screws holding them on. All of the fabric was just stapled on the boards as well, so I knew that it would be fairly easy just to pry off. And of course our little inspector Fern came to give a hand. I originally had hoped that I might be able to reuse the cushions underneath the fabric, but after seeing the condition they were in, sadly I had to throw them away. I can see now why this chair was only $10. It was taking a really long time to pry all of this off, so eventually Eric came to give me a hand. I sanitized all the wood and left it overnight to air out. In the morning I sanded the boards a bit, just so I wouldn't be getting any slivers while I was putting the new fabric on. I had originally thought that I might restain the chair, but honestly it wasn't in too bad of shape and it would have been a real pain taking apart all the pieces to stain it. The only part of the chair that was pretty scuffed up were the armrests, so I decided to make some fabric covers for them. I made a little template of the armrest for this. I cut out all of the pieces that I needed. I'm basically just making a piece that will slip right over the armrest like a sleeve.
Now I just had to take out these two screws on the armrests. Then I slid the cover over it. And I replaced the screws. I did the same thing on the other side. I'm going to use my staple gun to put the new fabric on. I may not have been able to reuse the old cushions from the original rocking chair, but I was able to use an old pillow I had to make new cushions. I'm using half of the pillow here for the seat, and you'll see later that I used the rest of it for the backboard. I kneeled on the wood as I stapled all around the fabric, keeping it as tight as I could. and then I screwed it back into the frame of the chair. For the headrest, I used the other piece of the pillow and then I sandwiched some extra stuffing in between two pieces of quilt batting for the back. I stapled around the headrest first. Then I added a few staples right up along the edge of the headrest as tight as I could get it and I hammered them in a bit more to make sure that they weren't sticking out at all. Then I added my quilt batting piece and made sure it was fluffed out really well. I cut the excess fabric around the backboard, then started to staple the rest.
Since I didn't want any visible staples, I was going to have to sew shut the rest of the backboard. So I pinned everything into place and cut the excess fabric as I went along. I used an invisible ladder stitch to hand sew the backboard. It took me quite a while to do this, but I did have some good company. So the last thing that I'm going to do before putting the backboard on the chair is I'm going to make a piece of upholstery piping to cover up those staples that I put to separate the headrest from the rest of the backboard. To do this I basically encased a piece of cotton piping cord with my fabric. I then hand stitch this on to cover up the staples. I really like how it turned out. Now to put all of the screws back on. I wasn't sure how I felt having the screws visible, but I'll likely have this rocking chair with the back facing the wall. Further down the road maybe I'll make a piece to cover up the screws. I really love how it turned out and I'm glad I could turn this old chair into something beautiful. This was a really cheap project as well. The chair cost under $10, the fabric was thrifted and I think I only paid around $5 for it. And I made use out of an old pillow too. If you liked this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. I do sustainable sewing and DIY videos and I release a new one every Sunday. Bye for now!